He was icing up the leg a little bit, but he looked great. The performance tonight, was it tougher than you thought against Corey? Because I know there was a lot of mutual respect on, in both camps. Yes, uh, it was more tough than I accept, and his defense uh, much better than I wait. You know, when I take his back, he almost defends, he go out. Uh, I was surprised. I, it was very hard to hold him, take him down. He's, uh, he's very good, but my strike is much better than him. Then I accept, you know, I think he will be much better than me, but uh, I'm, I'm not bad. I'm not bad today. I was not bad. Was there any frustration when you were having a hard time getting the takedowns and then, and then keeping the takedown once you were down there? Did you have to kind of slow your brain down and reset? Uh, it was, uh, you know how, when I understand, uh, when I understood I can beat him in striking, uh, I, I changed my little bit my plan and I'm beginning to find the moment to take him down, you know, like a correct moment when I can do this uh, safe, safe takedowns. And uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm good. I'm, I'm happy to I win. And I, al I always said uh, important victory. Don't impor important how you win, how you beat someone. First of all, you have to win. Then you can talk about your mistakes, his mistakes, who, who has uh, like you no know, striker better or grappling better. But uh, when you lose, nothing in, have, have matter. You know, like you can just you can just talk. Now I want to talk about your striking because look at the size of these catcher's mitts he's got right here <laughs> for, for a bantam weight. Now you you talk about making those adjustments. Now I know as a ch you have that championship level ability to adapt. You adapted fast in that second round with the strikes. Was it one punch just said, you know what, I'm going to strike with this guy? My corner tell me, when you come after one round, they said to me, you have to believe you're striking. You're much faster than him. You're much better than him. You have to work. And I have to work not left, like sightful, you know? When I was here, he kicked me my right leg, and I missed a couple kicks, and i losing, like, scores, you know? I change. And when I change, game beginning change too. Mm -hmm. So what, let's talk about your corner. Uh, during the fight, you know, they come to the corner and we can listen to the advice and see how you guys interact. Talk about having that level of a corner with Habib and, 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 every, and, and Hav and everyone that's in your corner, you know, giving you advice and helping you make those adjustments. Talk, talk about what it feels like to have those people behind you. They they high level corners, they have high, high level coaches, you know, and they push me, impress me go to ahead, believe myself, believe my striking. And when time's coming, like, end coming, like, you know, like, uh, rounds, they told me, to do take down to, like, you know, 100, take this round for, like, 100%. Like, everybody give you this round. And I listen to him. I listen then, uh, all my coaches, and alhamdulillah, today I win. God give me victory. You said that, you were promised a title shot if you got the win here tonight. Obviously, at uh, Riyadh's season at the Sphere in Las Vegas, um, there's going to be a title fight. Is there one of those two in Marab or Sean O'Malley that you would prefer to fight? I think yes. You know, I will next contender because number one will fight with champion, and I just beat one number two. You know, and I think it's logic. Yeah. Logistic. Who do you think is going to win that one? For me, it doesn't matter. But uh, if Mirab will believe his wrestling, I think he will beat him. Don't uh, go to take his down without punch. It's he. We we saw how he um, O'Malley meet uh, Aljo, and he give him like hard punch. He take out and he lose. He can, um, you know, he can make same mistakes. How is his friend? He has to punch, then take down, can try to control him. And uh, he has to impress, like, go ahead, push him, push him, push him. And then he can beat him. But if he will stay with him, I think Mira going to beat him. Not O'Malley going to beat him if he will stay. He is the young eagle, Umar Namagomedov. He has gone from here to here, and now he's trying to get to that very next level, a title fight coming up in the very near future, I am sure, for this young man. Umar, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, I'm coming for you. You can run, but you can hide.
थैंक यू